This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 4. Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Shalom. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, pushing this doctrine of truth to the elect of the nation of Israel who were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth pursuant to the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. All right, I wanted to do a quick lesson in the spirit. I came across uh, came across this article here, which is just more proof that we're in Babylon the Great. Okay, Babal in Hebrew means confusion. Okay, and this is without a doubt a land of confusion, right? What they call good, evil, evil, good. It's also known as the land of darkness. Also known as spiritual Sodom and spiritual Egypt for obvious reasons. But um, let's, go, <clears throat> let's go ahead and read the title here House of the Dragon Star. Emma Darcy makes GQ's Men of the Year list. Now, I don't have to tell you that this is just madness, confusion. Okay, and this is uh, this is what comes with the territory here in Babylon the Great. Okay, it's living up to its name because it's all about confusion. Okay, and this is what's fueling our people being led astray. Okay, it's it's the wine that's been given to them from the man of sin, the devil, Esau, Edom. Okay, we just read Habakkuk. It just said that his soul is not upright in him. Okay, that means he's not he's not righteous. He can't be righteous. Okay, because he's the wicked. All right, pursuant to the book of Malachi, chapter one, verse four, this nation of people, the Edomites, are considered. The wicked by the heavenly father Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And we'll get that in a minute. Okay? And this is what you Israelites that are still sort of teetering on the fence between the truth and Christianity. <clears throat> you need to be swayed to the truth. Okay? You need evidence to, to convince you that, you know, what your following is is wrong okay and this is the evidence that you need but see for most of you a good number of you let's say that that's still not going to be enough proof because in your minds you're going to convince yourself that the Lord still loves everybody there's no such thing as a wicked nation of people when there clearly is okay and if there was doubt before this time I'd say before 2020 due to lack of evidence well now there shouldn't be any doubt whatsoever because these devils are just proving themselves to be who they are the wicked okay look at their unrighteous decrees Look at the perpetual hatred that they have for you Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? Look at their laws that they're implementing. Okay? Which is just pure evil. Pure wickedness. And they're pushing this on the children. Okay? Which makes it worse. I mean, it's one thing to push this on society, but it's another thing to also push it and promote it amongst the children. Okay, we already know that they're very impressionable and they're very corruptible the younger they are. Okay, <clears throat> let's take a look at this picture again. This woman is clearly a woman, but yet they nominated her for men of the year list. Well, 
I don't know what the hell this is. I mean, it's obviously, it's clearly a woman, but how she was nominated on the men of the year list is just beyond me. Okay, but you know, this again, this, this comes with the territory of being in the land of darkness. All right, this is what you're going to get. This is exactly what you're going to get when you got the wicked ruling the entire world. Okay, what would you expect to get when you have the wicked ruling the world? Would you expect to get righteousness? Would you expect them to stop warring? Would you expect them to stop invading countries that they view as inferior or weaker? Right? Committing all kinds of genocide, murder, mass murder, stealing resources, stealing gold, stealing oil. Okay? This is what the wicked were designed to do. For all intents and purposes, the wicked, the Edomites, are the Heavenly Father's sword. So, they were set up to do exactly what they're doing and punish us in the process. And teach us a valuable lesson, okay, about being wicked, okay? And I can honestly say I've learned my lesson. I have learned my lesson, Heavenly Father. I'm just wanting this all, this, this nightmare to end. I'm just, I'm tired of seeing this. Tired of seeing it. Let's go to the book of uh, Job chapter 9 verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Okay, well we know that the rulership of this world is in the hand of the Edomites. Okay? And of course, subordinate nations under the Edomites. Okay, because they call the shots. They'll, you know, come into your country and tell you what's what. And you'll do it. And that's what we've been seeing over the past couple hundred years or a hundred years. Right? Babylon the Great's a big bully. Let's go to the book of Malachi. Because this is proof. There's a nation of people that's considered wicked. And if they're wicked, they're incapable of doing anything righteously. Or righteously. Okay? They can't do anything that's righteous. Because they're the wicked. Verse 1, the burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Lord, yet ye say, Wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau, and laid his, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom saith, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them, this is the point, the border of wickedness. And the people, the people, the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. Okay? Forever. So, what people is this talking about? Well, I just told you, this is talking about Esau Edom, who happened to change his name. They're not known as the Edomites, okay, or descendants of Esau. They're calling themselves the chosen people of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Now, we know that's a flat out lie, but they have all the protection afforded to them to be able to perpetuate this lie, this colossal lie about them being the people of the Lord right let's see everything is starting to be made manifest the truth is starting to come out about not only who we are as the Israelites but the Edomites as being the wicked the devil that the Bible speaks of see this is why you ran from that name for centuries right because, like I said before, I said earlier, there's no way in the world you could have taken over the world, all right, being known as the devil that the Bible speaks of, all right? You had to use your power of deception to convince the world that you didn't exist, okay? But there was an expiration date on your uh, anonymity, 
Okay? Because now you're being revealed for the devil that you are. Okay? Got a couple more precepts and we'll wrap it up. Another picture I wanted to show. Another illustration of the confusion confusion here in Babylon the Great. Trans swimmer Leah Thomas nominated for NCAA Woman of the Year Award. Okay? More confusion. This is Babylon the Great. Like I say, comes with the territory of being in the wickedness. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, being in the land of uh, wickedness. Okay? This is what you're going to see. This is what you're seeing being pushed on children. Okay, as young as seven, eight years old. Okay? Just pure evil. Pure evil. And this is what they're pushing. This is this is part of their agenda. Okay? And it's going worldwide. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18. Let's just jump down to verse 3. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Okay, so all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And this is why you see a lot of nations following suit after Babylon the Great. You know, you got the uprising in Iran where the women refuse to wear their hijabs because they want to be like the women here in, in Babylon the Great. They want to be liberated. They want to be free. Okay? And uh, their men weren't going for it. And they saw, you know, where society goes when the women of that particular nation are liberated. Okay? As far as I'm concerned, it's a false liberation. Because you'll find that once they get all these privileges and benefits and you know equal rights to men they become even more miserable because what they're doing defies their nature okay which is to get married have children bear children for their husband and raise their children stay at home and raise them see Esau Edom has turned things upside down like the scripture says right so you, know, you got independent women, boss bitches as they call themselves, but they're miserable, okay? Their misery is at an all-time high because, uh, again, they're, uh, they're not doing what they were designed to do as women, okay? And that's the bottom line. And they're taking on a masculine energy, masculine traits, and as a result, it's causing a huge uh, a rift between the men and women in this society, okay? You got men embarking on the, the MGTOW movement because of it, all right? And you can blame this on Esau Edom, okay? Because he's responsible for the creation of feminism, all right? It was pushed by Gloria Steinem, who worked for the, uh, the CIA, okay? So, you know, these devils are wicked, and... Until you get to really see or understand what you're dealing with, you're going to be lost. And then you're going to be destroyed because of it. So if you're still having a difficult time understanding this and grasping this very simple concept, biblical concept, then you need to pray to the Heavenly Father, Most High, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, to give you more wisdom so you can see what we see and hear what we hear. Okay? Because we know this devil's going down. He's going to take two-thirds of you wicked Israelites with him. And Lord's will, I'm not of that number. Okay, I don't know. But uh, anyway, I think I made this longer than I wanted to. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up. I want to say all praise to the Most High. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, Raha, Kadash. Until next time, Shalom.